Hey guys, welcome back to Recharge Garage. Today, going to do a little story on my 1970 LC Tirana. Um, it's a story so far. I didn't have a video camera way back in the in the start, so I've just got photos. So I'll do a little uh, photo compilation. Um, so the story so far, you'll see in the photos when uh, when I first got the car, it was laying in a in a shed, dirt floor, sitting on its guts, picked it up and this is where it sits today and this is the story so far. Hope you enjoy. Sweet. Okay guys, as you've seen by the photos, you obviously see where it's at at the moment. So I'll give you a quick little walk around. So, got some sound deadening down. Still need to finish it off. Just gonna find some time. Front end all in. Uh, as you can see, 
I've done the steering relocation kit in there ready for a V8 to go in notched out the cross member there shifted it across a couple of inches uh, new guards, nose cone, balance, radio support These scuttles were all rusted, of course to fix them I had to take the guards off, which there's the original ones hanging up there, but um, yeah I figured if I was going to be taking the guards off I'm putting new ones back on because those ones are a little bit, how you going? Um, of course when you put all the guards and stuff on nothing lines up anymore, so I had to grind the front edge off the door and remake the gaps roll it back together as you can see by the photos I've stretched the rear quarters 50 mil so you can fit 15s under it got the shortened 28 spline ball warner in there which is now a 31 spline with true track center and billet axles uh, disc brake cast end got my brand new shockers on there uh, got, uh, you can see they've got moto fab upper shock mounts still undecided whether I'm going to go through the floor with the shockers and run the bar between the two wheel arches to get these shock mounts up higher I just don't like they're hanging down really low might just be something to collect stuff with um, McDonald Brothers uh, upper and lower control arms fully adjustable got the uh, rod shop chassis kit right through floor pans it's all painted Chassis kit coming up here. Still got a paint sound in in here. Just need I'm waiting for some of those to turn up and finish that off. But yeah, it's been a slow project. Purchased the car back in 2015, so and. I kind of want to get enough time and money to do so but one day it'll be good anyway guys that's the story so far on this little gem um, hope you liked it uh, the more things I do to this thing I'll be sure to video it and chuck a video up so you can watch that anyway thanks for watching be sure to subscribe like it hit the bell do all that sort of stuff all right cheers